to be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end then to die, to sleep no more. And by his sleep we say to end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to, tis a consummation, devoutly to be wished, to die, to sleep, to sleep, a chance to dream, and there's the rock. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off? This mortal coil must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so low life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of disprise of love, the laws delay, the insolence of offers, and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes when he himself might his quietus make with a bare popkin who would fardels bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns, puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others. That we know not of. Thus conscience does make cowards of us all. And thus the native hue of resolution is sickly to awe with the pale cast of thought and enterprises of great pith and moment. With this regard, the currents turn around and lose the name of action. Soft the fair of the In thy orisons, be all my sins remember.